prevents you from doing something you want with your own body. Mm. So I have, I actually have two that kind of relate to bodily autonomy, but it was posed by you or by Me. who? Well, both, by of both of us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And she that's a question. And then I said Kamala asked that yeah. identical question. And, and is that a, that's a question that you have? Yeah. I can't think of and a single body or well, a single law that would well, prevent one. you from doing what you want so, with your body. Circumcision, but you actually feel. <laughs> but, so wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel but passionately so is it, that is it, circumcision is it should be a choice as well. Is it your position that there is no way that a man lacks bodily autonomy. I think if you wanted to do literally anything you want with your body, I don't think anyone in the mm. government's stopping you. And if you can name one thing, let me know, because I, I would two. love to learn. Yeah, well, yeah, you can't think of anything. Okay. Okay. There's no one's right. forcing you right. guys so, to get vasectomy. Hold on. The only thing I can think of is, as an infant, you yep. being circumcised, and yeah. that is something yeah. so I wholeheartedly am against as well. You can't unalive yourself either. Well, you, can't. Can't. you can't what? You, you can't unalive well, yourself. Okay, hold on. I mean, but you can. You're not going to jail for it. You'll be dead. The government's is... not going to stop you from killing okay, yourself. Okay, you got to not cut me off every time I try to talk. Okay. So, no, the question which you asked was, can you name a law which governs men's bodies? Yes. There's a law that says you cannot unalive yourself. A law you're strictly not, pertaining to Yes, you're not allowed to do that. So that would be a law that can governs you, you so feel we can look it up later? Do you feel governs passionate? Men's body. Yes. Do you feel about passionate uh, about fighting yourself for is your illegal, right to kill I yourself? In, in 40 <laughs> because I feel passionate about having we, for men children. We've got to use a different fucking word. Hold on. We've got to use a fucking different word. we got to use a different fucking word. Yeah, we got to use I would like to actually finish my point here. Yeah, my bad. So when it comes, I mean, while it is not by law a requirement that children are circumcised, feminists constantly make arguments about while there isn't a law, there's a societal culture that uh, mistreats women in this way or privileges men in this way. So I think circumcision is actually a fantastic argument when it comes to bodily autonomy as it relates to men. Secondly, there actually is one. So forced military conscription. Mm -hmm. All men in the United States compelled by law are required to register with a selective service, mm -hmm. which in the event of a war would compel them to essentially be cannon fodder, even if there wasn't a military conflict. If a man fails mm -hmm. under law to register for the selective service, there are significant ramifications to this. For example, they can't vote. Mm -hmm. They can't, they are not allowed to have certain federal jobs, federal careers. They can't get student loans. They can be loans. imprisoned and fined. There's a, yes, yeah. it's a felony, $250,000 fine. And it's, women are not subject to that, by the way. And I really appreciate you bringing that point up because this is where the point really lies here is you're 100% correct. And the difference between you and I is that I would fight till the end for that to not be the case for you guys, but you guys would not fight for me. Clearly. Why are, well, hold on. Hold I on. would fight till the end to make so, sure that's not because I completely disagree with no that for men. Men should die, not have well, to be forced. Uh, hold on. So first like, off, you <laughs> men would protect you. I, I uh, would. That's so you have shifting the goalposts. Though, yeah. Right? First off, you haven't. I don't need men to protect me. I've protected myself. Actually, you do need men to protect you. Really? Whether, from from who? Other men? Because I I can't tell you so how you many times I've protected myself. You still need men to protect you. You need them to protect you. I don't need you guys to protect me. Can you stop interrupting? You got to allow people to actually speak instead of just constantly interrupting them. Okay. It's very simple. We let you talk. Okay. Mm -hmm. So two things. First, you absolutely do need men to pr protect you. This may be by proxy either through the military or through law enforcement officers. I'm assuming if somebody you know were to be murdered, you would not just protect yourself. You would not investigate it yourself. You would appeal to who? Primarily men who are in law enforcement. I'm assuming unless you just if someone you know who got murdered, you'd hope it wasn't investigated? I would appeal to you know, law enforcement as a whole, not to specifically men in law enforcement. Which is And to be quite honest men. with you, if I personally own a gun, maybe I will one day, I don't know. I, I don't really feel strongly either way at this moment in time about it. But I can tell you, if I need protection, if I own a gun, I don't need your, your muscles. I don't need... I, I just Here's the thing. <laughs> I need tools. Wait, I don't I need know. men. I need tools. And men hoard all the tools and resources, so I have to ask you guys for those okay, tools. So I, I can use them myself. I know how to use them. Okay. Okay. Men are stopping women from building guns? No, that's I not what say. I said. Like, you're, you're taking it literally because you can't look at the bigger picture. I'm saying that, like, mm. I have always been in a position in every job I've been in school, everywhere, is that there's a a man who's in power over me that I have to go to to get the promotion. I have to go to to convince okay, the right no, 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 no. Hold on, hold like, on. I, hold I on, stop. Need you, because now I have to ask you for them. You need to stop because I know to use them myself. you're not allowing me to go point by point on this. Now you're talking about 
promotions and stuff. Let's go back to the draft. So you made two claims there. You made the claim that, well, if I was in your position, I would advocate that men not be drafted. So let's talk about that. Okay. So I know you live in like fairy tale land where in your world, military conflict would never exist, even if women hold. Fairy tale. Even if. That's hold on, hold on. Let world. me finish. Let me finish. In the same way you're, you're strong. Okay. In your fairy tale world, even if women had all the power, held all positions of power, perhaps you think that there would not be any military conflicts. I think this is wrong. This, there would still be military conflicts regardless. So you're saying that you would advocate that the draft, there should be no draft, period. Yes, yes no? what I'm advocating for, because you're right, in anyone's idyllic world, there wouldn't, who wants war? Okay. No one wants so war. So in my war? idyllic world, there, there, there war? wouldn't be war, sure, but I, I know war is a necessity. I'm very aware of that. I'm not saying that we, okay. we can't but survive so, without war, but I'm saying that the people who participate in that war should be able to choose whether they're men or women. But, That's it. If so I have if a son, I, really I don't want to know that he's going to be taken against his own will. Like... I feel strongly about protecting my sons equally right. as my daughters. But if I were to tell you, it would just, it, it's almost a waste of time to have a conversation of trying to get rid of the draft because the government will <laughs> never relinquish yeah. its ability to call upon its citizenry right. in a situation or scenario where the country needs to essentially force its citizenry into the defense of the nation, the government, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, will never relinquish this power. Yeah. So assuming that, you can agree that there's no scenario where the, where the draft will never exist. You're that's right. In the society the that we've built, that's what I'm saying is a lot of shit in the society needs to be war, dismantled, okay. dude, because but it doesn't, never it doesn't work. War this is conflict. not the only way that we can work. War, there's many war different and conflict ways. is never going to go away. You're right. It's not. But there's different ways to go about it is my point. And do I have all the answers? No. Okay, but, but is the so, way we're doing it currently so, satisfying everyone? No. We need to do something different. That's what I'm saying. We need, And, and that's what is... The issue here is I love this country because, and I want to make it better. I'm not talking shit about this country. I'm saying there's flaws with it, and I want to help improve it. There's no scenario where the government is going to relinquish their right to draft the citizenry. So then wouldn't you agree that perhaps in this situation, women should also be subject yes, to military that's construction? Right. Yes, yeah. yes. Yep. It needs I to be equal either way. Right. Either everyone it's gets like to choose or no one gets to choose. So, yes. Would it case, suck? Yes, so the, but, but it would be But fair. despite 100 years of equality when it comes to voting, mm -hmm. women still are not obliged to be subject to military conscription. And so because of this, that is precisely one example in which men don't have bodily autonomy. So you're not actually addressing my argument here. You're just saying, well, I would advocate that men should not be drafted. But I'm telling you currently, as a rebuttal to your, as a rebuttal to your point of men don't have bodily autonomy, it's actually quite the opposite. What about, we know mental health sucks in this country for everyone, men, women, children, doesn't matter who you are. But when the military does drafts. I know they don't take people with bipolar, BPD, mm -hmm. all these under other mental illnesses. So if we're going to like compare the two between abortion rights and being drafted for the military, what about women who have severe mental deficits, who struggle to live day to day, who necessarily in the drafts wouldn't be drafted but are still forced to carry a child that they mentally or physically are incapable of caring for? Completely. I'm not sure I entirely follow. I mean, I would assume that if you have some severe mental incapacity, whether you're a man or a woman, this would preclude yeah. you from volunteer service and a draft. Yeah, Even in right. So that they're, they're protected in that sense. But I mean, women, when it comes to abortion rights, mm -hmm. right? Jeez. People who suffer from bipolar, all these mental illnesses that make it not only hard to function as like a day-to-day -day person, but as a full parent who is responsible for another living being. Why would they be forced to carry that child to term if they found out they were later in so, life? So just to summarize this, what you're saying is, okay, this is true. Men lose their autonomy this way and mm -hmm. women lose their autonomy this way. But the exemptions that men get is that if they have mental health issues, they're, they don't have to go into military service. Mm -hmm. But women, if they have mental health issues, would still have to bear the child. Yes. So this is not fair is what you're saying. Y 
Yeah. It's, okay. It's not fair. Now, because... now at least I understand. So that I do have this down correctly, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So what I would say to this is fair enough, but you do realize that draft standards, how they how they're set, are actually designed to be lowered instantly by necessity. Yeah, I, I'm that, sure if they yeah, need soldiers, if there's a, they're yeah, going to be like, war, oh, he's a little fucked up. Yeah, he's okay, a little fucked we'll up. Take him anyways. In fact, they, they, they will lower the IQ standards significantly, yeah. right? They'll lower all standards they just across need the bodies. board. Yeah, they just need bodies. And so now your BPD, this and that, oh, you got some medication that'll help you with that? Get your ass to the front line. So essentially, yep. these things will be removed via necessity. Mm -hmm. So it's not a disqualifier from you getting drafted, not, well, not even with mental illness. Like in a perfect world, yeah. But not completely, but they don't have that standard for pregnant women. I do. I, I mean, I have really quickly one thing on this, and I'll pass it back to Andrew. So when it comes to the draft, that would be, you'd be forced to do that by the government. The government mm -hmm. isn't forcing you to have sex. No, but sex is a natural and healthy thing. No one's so. forcing you. There is a bit of a differentiation it's there. It I mean, that's, that's all my piece. It's, I feel like on the topic of sex, people have made sex such a taboo subject when all that matters is communication and consent. And if everyone's behaving and having sex in a healthy way, everyone's getting tested properly. They're communicating what they have, if they have anything, what partners they've had. I yeah, don't. I don't feel like sex is something I'm that not people sure. should be ashamed. Yeah, of. but I'm not sure <laughs> how sex being natural negates the fact that it's a choice, whereas conscription would not be. Mm -hmm. And pregnancy usually is an entailment of choice. So women who carry pregnancies via SAs, for mm -hmm. instance, those are outliers. Those are rare, right? Most pregnancies it are happen, not. It, it does. I Listen, won't I'm say not it's disputing not. It. I'm just saying that it, that's not the vast, overwhelming majority. Not even close. So taking this into consideration, even if they were to make the SA exemption, mm -hmm. oh, you were essayed? Fine. Then you can have the abortion. And those exemptions do exist. The exemption on the draft, there's still no choice, whereas the sex is a choice, which leads to the pregnancy. Well, I think the problem isn't the people. It's the government who wants to tell us what to do. You have to go in the draft. I have to have this baby. I think mm -hmm. that in itself is what's wrong, not the fact that, oh, men have these privileges and men have this and that. The government set that up, not each individual person. We are merely here existing in this country based off we've, what we've been taught and told and learned through thousands of years yeah, of translated but you have a representative scripts. government, so they're representing the will of you. That's, isn't that what the point is? But are they really representing every single person in this country? Well, I mean, but yeah. that would be in the realm of impossibility regardless of the government archetype you have. That's had. why I feel every person should have the right to choose what they want to do with their person. Obviously, murder is wrong. You can't do something to someone else that's, you know, murder. You're killing them, not respecting boundaries, well, consent, you, all this shit. Do you mind if I test this logic real quick? Yeah. So you have kids. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if your kid is an adult, when they reach an adult stage, mm -hmm. they should be able to do what they want, right? Pertaining to themselves, yes. Pertaining to themselves. So your kid runs into your room, pulls out a heater, puts it up to their head and says, this is it, mom, I'm doing it and I'm an adult. Are you gonna let her? I mean, at that point, that's someone you would need to get help for. Yeah, yeah. I don't think any logical normal person any logical person why, why who isn't they? going through something, yeah. that goes back to mental health. So not everybody should have the right to do whatever they want then. He has the right. So then why would you try to stop him? Because I love them. Right. So wait. So your love for them, you would interject and take that right away from them, right? Out of love for them? I would offer them help. Yeah. Okay. You would offer them help by not letting them do that first. You would do whatever you could so that they put the heater down and didn't do it right then, right? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what Christians are trying to do for you. But that's your okay. opinion. That's your on opinion. that topic. That on that topic. <laughs> you need a smoke breaker. <laughs> <laughs> take a smoke breaker. Yeah, for real. Right. Can I, mean, I touch that back on that topic? Here. Because as someone who grew up in we, religion in a toxic, yeah, we'll toxic. To you did? I did. I, would, I grew up a Jehovah's Witness. So wow. I grew up in a cult. So. Oh. I, I did not oh. celebrate my I, birthday, Christmas, nothing for in t my, the majority of my childhood. And the man who damn near beat my mother into submission to join him in this cult 
justified his actions towards his family with the Bible. I know I can't, you guys mentioned we can't say the word on here, but it yep. starts we, with a, yeah. No, I got to move it. I got to move it on, but that's fine. All right. The beacon to the panel point, point to a heteronormative cisgendered white male of privilege who owes society reparations. Well, I, I guess what, that's what was the big thing here. I guess that's the question. <laughs> but what, what I, I owe the reparations. Is that it? I theoretically, I don't believe in reparations. Wait, can you pop it back up? No. Nope. Oh, it's a one and done. He said, "Don't read this part." We didn't read it. I'm confused. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. He put it out there. Though. No, he said, "Don't they read this part." They put it out there. <laughs> you know what is interesting though about the abortion debate is like how dudes aren't brought in. It's always like if a woman gets pregnant, it was your choice to have sex, da da da. And it's like, bro, is this Mother Mary Immaculate Conception? Like it takes two to tango. So I feel like we need to bring guys in more. How so? Decision making and he stuck his penis into her and ejaculated. I think he's no, saying like, now that no, she's saying, pregnant. He's, right, I no, think he's means, very much involved. He means no, how so bring how, them in. How, yeah. How, how, yeah, but like how bring them in how so. <laughs> right, no, I'm I'm saying he's mm -hmm. part of it. But right. she says bring him in. I'm asking how. Yeah. I think conversations like this, debates like this, instead of it being among women, bring guys in. And you know, how, yeah, voting, but, of course. And how? I think that the the reality is, like again, like all of these topics, most people actually lie in the middle on this, and it's not an extreme of you're a murderous b baby killer this or thing, what's good and bad. Like how do exactly, we define that? Exactly, exactly. And you know, and by and someone mentioned that Roe v. Wade is gone, and I don't know if you, most of you guys probably know this. It's not gone; it just wasn't codified right mm -hmm. on the federal level, so it's it's kicked down to the states. But you know, I think voting and you know, democracy, okay. man. That's what, what if a man wants the kid, but she wants an abortion? Does he not get a say in that? Because she gets. I don't course. see things as black and white. Exactly. And I don't think you should just look at because that's complicated. That's not. That's not your. It is your body, but that's someone else's kid. Yeah. So you have to find balance, and that's why I think there that's should be more resources for people to get through pregnancy and be able to give the child away if they want yeah. to do that. But well, that's the father think, primarily wanted to take care yeah. of it, you know, and the and, mother. But there has to the, be both. You know what I mean? At the root of all both. this. When it comes down to it and boils down to it, really is a religious debate. I'm a pro-choice girl again, within reason. I think after you know a certain amount of time, it shouldn't be until term. That's my point of view. I recently had a debate with a very pro-life, you know, Christian conservative, and they truly believe that this is where life starts. So I can I disagree, but again, I can respect his. That's his point of view. Is his point of view. So, you know, I think a, a lot of this boils down to that and the morality of that. But, you know? That's one freedom we do have is freedom of religion. And everyone that's yeah. reserves right. the right to practice right. their own yeah. religion without forcing it on anyone else. All right, like, I got a couple questions. Of yeah. church and state if you, if you want to have a country where you have a representative government, then the government's going to have to represent the it's will not of all the, the people. people. If the majority block of people are religious, they have every right to put people in systems of government power who share the religious then views. Then why does it say separation of church and state? It doesn't say separation of church and state anywhere in the Constitution, nowhere. So Christians are the superior and most valued religion. people and no one else's religious rights. I'm sorry, I didn't say anything like that. Freedoms. What I said specifically. Well, you did because you were like, we're doing you a favor. What I said was this. <laughs> so well, just like she's doing, nature, that was just like she's doing her, just like she's doing her kid a favor, she's superior to him. What part? Saving them from saving them from unaliving themselves. That's because I'm she's not superior. superior. I want to help them. Give right, them exactly. But Same you're not logic. giving me support <laughs> exactly. in making choices for me. How would you? Based you're off not your religion. Okay, so that's your right. So, okay, that's to great. Choose to but it's not your kid's right. My kid can do whatever uh, they so want. Unless he come in and do that, then you're going to try to stop Is him. Is it going to fucking hurt? Would I be traumatized and broken? Absolutely yes. So you're changing your answer, and you would just I'm let your kid. I'm not changing my answer. Okay, because so I never said I would physically Again. stop them. I said I would talk to them and give them the support okay, they great. need they say, Mom, to help they them. They say, you know what, Mom? I got all this support. I, I got it all. And I, I just don't want to change my mind. I'm still going to do it. And you know it. what? In a perfect world where it had to come to that decision, if my child is suffering that much, I don't want them to suffer. Whatever makes them feel better. There's assisted medical suicides in other countries right now. You know, if they... I hope to raise a child who isn't that 
broken <laughs> from the society or things that have happened to him to choose to act on that. Mm -hmm. But if my child is fucking suffering, suffering, their brain, whatever is wrong, they physically cannot take living. It is a torture every day. Who am I to tell them, you can't do that because I'm going to hurt? Explain well, that's who an you extreme are. Right? Let, us finish, let us finish. Let us finish the exchange. It's two different things. So it's not two different it things. It actually is. Hold on. Okay, no, 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 so no. we'll finish the exchange. So anyway, so to dive into this, you have just described, right, every mother consoling their son or daughter after a horrific breakup where they're so emotionally in pain, they just can't take it, and they don't see an end to the suffering in sight. But you say, no, my intuition, this is gonna stop one day. Now, it might not. It might not actually stop one day, but you just intuitively make that decision for them, don't you? You say, no, it's gonna stop one day, so if you wanna unalive yourself over this right now, mm -hmm. I'm gonna fucking stop you, right? 100%. Right? I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to tell him what he can and can't do. Am I going to? Am I going to tell him that I would be fucking? I would be a mess. I would be broken. I don't know if I could continue on, without my child being there. But your kid, at 18 years old, comes to you. It's been 18 weeks of just agonizing, suffering for them emotionally because Mrs. Wright left him, and he's right in front of you, and he says, "You know what, Mom? I'm just going to put an end to this." And he pulls out that heater up to the head, right? That's what he wants, and you're going to respect that? I'm going to say, what can I do to help you? And he says, nothing. This is what I want. And that's where you get them 50. <laughs> Let her finish. That's shit that is out of my control. I can't tell so the future. So you wouldn't try to stop him, or you would? Am I going to physically go and grab yeah, Sure, of course. I'm going to grab him. Not the gun. So I'm you're going to try him. to stop him. I'm, I'm going to try to talk to him. You're going to do everything you can to but stop that. why do you or anyone who identifies as Christian uh -huh. think they know what is best for, for me? For the same reason. You think you know what's best for that 18? We don't know me. Yeah, this regardless of if I knew you or didn't know These you, I know what don't. is moral and what is not moral. But she's, that's an opinion. she's talking. Okay, this <laughs> is this is kind of what I was getting at. Your argument and you're entitled, of course, to your views are predicate is predicated on the fact that a fetus is a living is a full blown human living being, right? Uh, we're, we're, people we're, disagree we're, with we're you. We're actually past that. Okay. So we're into people, the internal critique portion. But people, dis portion. But people out there, whether yeah, you I like didn't to hear know. or not, disagree people with disagree you. With me. I didn't know that. A f <laughs> wow. Okay. That was well, some incredible like, insight. Honestly, you're acting like you don't. I'm, I need to move I'm acting like we're, I'm acting like we're having yeah, yeah, an argument, yeah, yeah. which is, move by its nature, a disagreement. Anyone with common sense understands I do have to move. There is a chat related to this. Grid, we will still get to yours that came in a while ago. I wish Kristen Stewart, should men be able to choose to not pay child support, or is it only women allowed to avoid parenthood? Sad that there are so many degenerates that think this is okay among other things. Do better. So, so should going around I the table, interviewed Kristen Stewart? I'd go lesbo for her. Not gonna thank lie. you for sharing. You're welcome. Should men be able to choose to not pay Andrew child support? Like that. I don't know why. Yes or um, no? 